Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. It is day three of our Disney Cruise Line vacation on the brand new Disney Wish. And guys, we are at Castaway Key today. We don't have any major plans for today. We are going to get off on the island for just a little bit. We're gonna do a little bit of snorkeling, do a little bit of exploring, see if they have any special kind of Wish merchandise for the inaugural season of the Wish, and then come back on board the ship. We're not gonna be spending all day on the island. There is a matinee showing of the Little Mermaid show at 2.30, I believe, that we're gonna to wanna to try and catch. But yeah, nothing too crazy as far as plans for today. So let's go ahead upstairs, grab some breakfast, and then head on down to the island. We got a family coming back on the banana boat. I wonder how fun that is, or how crazy that is. Like, do they try to throw you off, or are you just there chilling? Time to head up one deck to Marceline Market. Let's go ahead and grab some grub. A little less crowded in here this morning, thank God. <laughs> Benefits of sleeping in a little bit. Breakfast this morning looking very similar to what we had yesterday. We got the two Mickey waffles, some hash browns, sausage, and an egg Benedict. Another great breakfast at Marceline Market. Now time to head back to the room and get ready to head on to Castaway Key. Okay, so in case you guys are curious, the gangway is located on deck one, and we are on the aft side. So we took the aft elevators down to the gangway. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Castaway Key. It is so nice to be back. Holy cow, guys, this ship is absolutely massive. I said it on embarkation day and I'm saying it again. It is huge, very huge. So just as a kind of visual for you guys as to where the elevators are kind of more or less located, where the bubbles are. There's an elevator shaft over here, and then there's an elevator shaft right over there by the bubbles. Those are the two elevator shafts on the ship, just kind of as a visual reference. There is also a gangway at the very forward of the ship, so you take those elevators down once again, and go on that way, and you have your gangway at the front. Got the character jeeps over here as well. I'd love to have one of these jeeps. They look so fun. Huh. I wonder where the guy is that sells all the waters. He's not here today. As you are walking onto the island, they do have some special photo ops out here, so make sure you keep an eye out for those. And this is our first close-up look at Rapunzel on the back of the Disney Wish. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in as much as I can, but look at that. I love the inclusion of Rapunzel there. That's really cool. This is one of those rare days where the majority of the excursions on Castaway Key are actually going out today. The only canceled one is the Glass Bottom Boat Tour. So everything else, it's going. It's very rare to see that. Let me tell you guys what, I am a long way from Alaska. Holy cow. Just three weeks ago. Three weeks ago, I was in Alaska, looking at mountains and snow, and now I'm over here at Castaway Key, looking at sand and palm trees. Let's go ahead and do a quick look inside the gift shop, see if there's any new merchandise available for the Wish specifically. I remember this shirt from the last time, but this one in particular, I don't remember from the last time. Another day in paradise. Sure sounds good to be me. Wait, what? Oh, sure sounds good to me. <laughs> Castaway Key. I like that. The only other new design that I see from this trip compared to the last one is this seahorse that just says Castaway Key. This shirt in particular I saw last time and I really liked it, but I actually didn't buy it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get this one today. One thing I actually forgot to pack for this trip is actually a phone pouch because we are going to be going on a paddle boat out towards the ship and I wanted to bring my phone with me. So we're gonna go ahead and purchase this. This one's $20. It's Castaway Key branded anyway, so should be pretty cool. We went ahead and made our purchases over here at the gift shop. Friendly reminder for you guys, they do not do any kind of cash or card transactions here on the island. If you buy anything, whether it be merchandise or drinks, it all has to be charged to your room. So make sure you have your room key available when you're going to the gift shops. Also, there are no discounts available on the island as well. So just bear that in mind. The ice cream on the ship may not be self-serve, but over here on Castaway Key it is. Should I apply to work at Dairy Queen? Look at that perfect swirl that I got on my own cone. Oh my god. Oh, and it fell apart. It's hot. I don't know how good you guys are going to be able to hear me because I have the phone in the plastic case right now, but we are all checked in for our paddle boat excursion, and now we are going to get on and get some great views of the ship. I have to wear a life vest and so does Coda. <laughs> you can kind of see her back there. Where is she? There she is. <laughs> and we're doing it. 
<laughs> Somehow, this paddle boat holds me and Coda. So we're heading out towards the ship. This is gonna be a workout for sure. I don't think we thought this through all the way. Not even close. Oh man. I wanna do that. We are slowly but surely making our way closer to the ship. <laughs> slowly but surely, but oh man. This is a this is a workout, one that I was not anticipating. I didn't think it was gonna be this difficult. I mean, we should have known better, but still. Still very pretty. Let's try and get closer. Take a look at that, guys. Look at how gorgeous the ship is. This is nice. Well, I think this is as close as we wanna get or are going to get. We are both very tired and we're fighting the wind and the waves. They're pushing against us as we were trying to get closer to the ship, but nice view very nice view of the of the ship out here on the water looks awesome wow this was not fun <laughs> this was not fun as we were fighting everything to get here but the views are nice i just want to show you guys how far out we came like oh my god that's how close we are to the ship there's coda <laughs> And that is how far away we came. We started off all the way over there and we paddled our happy asses out here. Oh boy, what a workout. Oh my God, that was an insane workout. A lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. We were fighting the wind going to the ship. And then as we turned around to come back, the wind direction changed and we were fighting it back. Huge shout out to Coda though. She was a trooper throughout the whole thing. I helped as much as I could, but man, it is not easy when you're, you know, sailing like this, you know, but either way, we're back. We're going to go to cookies now and get some something to drink, something to eat and see what else the day has in store for us. All right. Got some much needed liquid sustenance. Now it's time to have some lunch at Cookie's Barbecue. All right, here is our lunch today at Cookie's Barbecue. I got some brisket, some cornbread, a rib, some chicken, a wiener, and I also have a uh, cheeseburger over here. I'm probably gonna remove the top or bottom bun just so that I'm only having one bun, and I have a little sweet muffin right here. Huge shout out to Coda for getting fruit for the table. I mean, it's just us two, but yay. You know, Coda, it was nice coming to Castaway Key all those times right after cruising we started and not having to wait in lines for food or for ice cream for that matter those days are behind us it was fun while it lasted though so lunch at cookies was absolutely delicious as always so the plan right now is we're going to go ahead and go back to the ship and we're going to take the opportunity to use some of the pools that are on the upper deck because the island is still very crowded so our thought process is the pools should be mostly empty so we're going to go ahead up there right now and we're going to use some of those pools before before we try and catch the matinee show of the little mermaid i'm very excited for that but let's go ahead and get our stuff and get back to the ship and the reason why we're okay with not spending so much time on castaway key today is because we know we're going to be back on thursday so we'll just do everything else then i mean we don't really have too many big plans for thursday anyway we do have the snorkeling which i thought was going to be today but it's not and then we um are probably going to be doing the 5k again so <laughs> pray for me on that one <laughs> but yeah let's go ahead and make our way back onto the ship <laughs> as always guys make sure you have your room keys out and ready it's funny how many conch shells you see lined up over here <laughs> yeah oh my god that's freaking godzilla over there take a look at that lizard oh my god that thing is thick holy cow but anyways <laughs> it's funny to see how many conch shells are discarded over here because they always they always tell people you know they catch them most of the time right here like hey you can't bring those conch shells onto the ship they won't let you so they discard them over here it's just amusing to see how many it looks like the forward gangway is closed so uh everyone time to go in through mid made it back to the room and these are important these however are not <laughs> and these are our uh tip sheets over here for this cruise we'll go over this stuff a little bit later on but yeah normally i would be sad because this would mean that this is the end of the cruise however it is not the end of the cruise <laughs> we may be going back to port canaveral tomorrow but we are getting right back on also guys it is just after two o'clock and 
I know we said we wanted to go to the pool, but it did take us a little bit longer to get back onto the ship than we anticipated. So we're just going to go ahead and shower, relax in the room for a little bit, and then make our way down to the Walt Disney Theater a little bit early, so that way we can make sure we get some good seats for The Little Mermaid. So that's our plan right now. We will see you all when we are showered and ready to go. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a good night. And we have dinner tonight at Arendelle. That's going to be fun. I'm very much so looking forward to that one. I don't know if it's going to be as good as World of Marvel because that was 10 out of 10. But see you guys in a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to take a quick second to thank the fantastic sponsor of today's video, Exter. Exter is the producer of the most efficient smart wallet in the world. I promise you guys, this is going to be the last wallet you will ever buy. This aluminum smart wallet that I have right here is so much thinner and so much easier to use than my old bulky bifold. I've been using this extra wallet for about a month now and I say it's high time I throw this old bulky wallet into the trash where it belongs. This aluminum wallet is very slim which makes it perfect for theme parks. I love shopping at theme parks and when I'm at the register I always got to pull out my annual pass to make sure I get that sweet discount. Now with the quick card release feature on this extra wallet it makes paying for my items a breeze. Extra wallets can also be paired with Exter's tracker card, a solar powered accessory that can help you keep track of your wallet. Pair this accessory with the Chipolo app available on iOS and Android and you can use it to track your wallet just about anywhere. You can even use the Chipolo app to ring your wallet straight from your smartphone. The tracker card is solar powered and just two hours in the sun will give it three months of battery life. If aluminum isn't quite your thing, then Extra also offers the Parliament Classic Wallet, a slightly thicker version of the aluminum wallet that's made of environmentally certified premium leather. The Parliament Wallet is a more classic design that still offers the Extra Quick Card access and still has a slot for the solar powered tracker. Both the aluminum and the Parliament wallets also come with RFID protection, which is really great. Like I said earlier guys, I've been using these wallets for the last month and I even took them up to Alaska with me. It may both traveling and shopping incredibly easy and every time I pulled out my wallet I always got compliments. If you guys are looking to pick up your own extra gear please make sure to use my discount link down in the description below and get 20% off your entire order. Thank you so much to Extra Wallets for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back into the action. Coda and I are all dressed and ready to go downstairs to check out The Little Mermaid. Very excited for this show. Our first look at the grand hall for today and it is empty in here. Do you think it's coincidence that they're playing Little Mermaid music in here? Is it just coincidence? Yes. Because <laughs> we're about to go see Little Mermaid and that's the show that's performing tonight, but wow. I'll never get tired of this atrium. Like, honestly, this atrium is the best part about this ship. I love it so much. So elegant. And just for lack of better words, magical. <laughs> so we are on deck three and we are walking past the bayou on our way over to the Walt Disney Theater for The Little Mermaid. Can't wait to see the show from down here. And Preludes is up here as well. Fresh popcorn, oh God, it smells so good. Hi. Hello, Hi. <laughs> thank you. I've heard a lot of mixed things about this show, so I'm very excited to check it out for myself. As I said before, the seats in here are very snug but I'm still very excited to check out this show. I like the water projections on the ceiling too. It looks really nice. Nice touch. The most interesting thing so far is this treasure chest looking thing. The very center of the stage. I wonder how that's going to factor in. I love the random yellow wire that's just sticking out up there. <laughs> I wonder what that goes to. I will also say though, if you are sailing on the Wish and you have the opportunity to catch a matinee, definitely do it. So much more stress free. So many open seats. It's glorious. Also, I found it very interesting that they have all the control booths up here in the middle of the audience rather than on the other ships where it's at the very back. You know, I just find it really weird. Like, why would they put it over here instead of in the very back like on the other ships? Seems like it would be kind of distracting, but we'll see how it goes. We haven't spent too, too much time down here in the atrium, but it's good to see Mickey taking pictures with guests. So we're walking through the atrium and I spotted this random porthole that's just here in its own little corner. I mean, there's a crew member door over here, but there's so much space over here. Like, you can definitely chill out. Look at Coda being all cute. <laughs> and I would like to point out, we are still at Castaway Key. The show started at 3 o'clock and is currently 4.11, so it was about an hour long show. Okay, so we just got out of the Little Mermaid show, and I want to share our thoughts. First of all, I want to know what you thought. Uh, it was cute. Um, I like 
the way they told the story. It was a really cute show. It was cute and it was enjoyable, but you could definitely tell that there were some aspects that were unfinished. It felt, at least to me, certain parts of it felt unfinished as far as costuming and set design. Yeah, the boat looked like a rock. Yeah, like, a rock boat. It, it felt like there were definitely some sets missing. Like, any time they were trying to use a boat, it was a rock. And it was very clearly a rock, but they were trying to pass it off as a boat. And even when the lightning flashed in the background, it had a silhouette of a boat. But they were clearly on a rock. And even during the Kiss the Girl scene, they were on a rock. And they had a sheet that was being used as the water to try and cover the rock. I like how they were using the sheets as the water. No, that, that's that's not they, a complaint. It's you know how like the movie, it comes up a little bit, not like as far up as like the Rapunzel boat, but like it still has, like where the boat comes up, like, so uh -huh. they didn't even have the little pieces. Like they could have had something. Yeah. Like, they were just very clearly on a rock. So it's just little things like that that just, you know, makes it obvious that the show is kind of incomplete. Like, this show wasn't even ready for the test cruises. Like, the Maiden Voyage was the very first time that this show was ever performed. And for what it's worth, it's a really enjoyable show. I enjoyed it. There were some aspects of it that were pretty silly. Like, when Ursula was defeated, just confetti. It came out over the audience, like it made it look like she got thanos and just turned to dust. It was very interesting. I was just laughing. And then there was a part where, um, where Eric is on a ship and the storm hits and there's someone out there with a tin roof piece just doing the I love that though. <laughs> it, was, it, it was definitely creative but it just made me laugh. And then there was someone out there with the, with the flashlight who was just doing this. I love it. I, yeah, I was laughing. I was laughing because that was just silly. But it's got it's got some charm to it. So it's not really a complaint. It's just things that I pointed out. So you're definitely going to enjoy the show. I enjoyed it and I definitely think you guys are enjoying it. The kids are going to enjoy it as well. So I give it about a seven and a half out of ten. It's not horrible, but it's definitely got some room for improvement, but still enjoyable at the same time. So, out of ten, what would you give it? Uh, yeah, probably a seven room for improvement, but it's still good. Yeah, I definitely can't wait to come on the Wish later on and see how the show improves because I'm sure they're going to be taking a lot of feedback from guests and from videos like this one. So we definitely, we're, we're not saying that the show is bad. There's definitely room for improvement and it is still enjoyable as it is. Just room for improvement. Oh, take a look at that. Goofy's out here too. In case you guys are curious as to what some of the photo backgrounds are, we have Cinderella's castle over here. We also have a classic backdrop of the Disney Wish. Looks like Captain Minnie even made an appearance out here as well. Oh, take a look at that. Rapunzel's up there. It doesn't look like anybody's in line to meet her either. She's just there hanging out with another cast member. Oh, we found Hook's Barbary on deck four, I believe. Yeah, this is deck four. Um, so yeah, it doubles as a men's barbershop and a bar. There's actually a bar inside over here. That's very interesting. Right now, I'm just trying to find a bathroom. So that way we can go to the front of the ship and watch us leave. There should be some outside of Marvel, right? You would think so. <gasps> look at this! Oh my gosh, this is cool. I never noticed this last night. Wow. Heck yeah. <laughs> Fist bump Captain America. <laughs> Little Ant-Man over there as well. That's awesome. Is it, uh, is it the same on the other side? No, it's not. So you got Black Panther, Iron Man, Black Widow, and the Wasp over there as well. That's cool. So this is actually our first time on the deck four um, walking track, I guess you can say. I mean, it's not really a walking track because there's stairs on both ends to go up and around. So that's really weird, but still really nice to be out here for the first time. Right now we're walking to the very, very front of the ship, to the very nose, to see if we can have our little Titanic moment and watch the ship sail away. From what I read online, that the, the guy who's responsible for the design of the ship overall, figured that this ship was gonna be mostly used for three and four night sailing, so most people wouldn't really need to use a running track. At least that's what I heard. We are dropping the lines and getting ready to sail on out of here. So now I believe we're on deck five, and now we're about to head up even further to deck six. I don't know. Okay, bye. And <laughs> dead end. 
<laughs> How was your adventure? <laughs> Holy cow, look at this. There's so much room for activities up here. And then, the weirdest thing is that you can look down into Census Spa. So kind of like, you know, looking down at some zoo animals. It's really weird. But, yeah, it is a, it is a hidden Mickey. And take a look at this. See right over the bridge and very front of the ship. But this is the very nose of the ship. And there's a camera over here as well. <laughs> but we can stand here. Like, this is the center line of the ship. I know, right? Is it actually centered? Oh, wait, the horn's about to go off. Horn's about to go off. Finish it! Finish it! Yeah, I'm sure he <laughs> I love that. I don't understand why more people don't come out here more often. But that is wild. And also, just in case you guys are wondering, the bridge view camera, that's not it. That's not the bridge view camera. That's right there. That's the bridge view camera. So, you can't make any funny faces. I'm sorry. Somebody's got to see it, right? <laughs> yeah, somebody's got to see it. Hi. <laughs> Who is it? Who are you? What do you want? <laughs> My God, you've gotten fat. <laughs> they shouldn't have put a camera here. No, actually, they shouldn't have allowed people to be here if they didn't want people to doing that. <laughs> Jack, I'm flying. I can't see. <laughs> this is completely unrealistic. Yeah. My hair is all up in my face. Now, serious question, babe. Serious question. Now, just humor me here. <laughs> Do you think that this could be a possible wedding venue? Could you picture people getting married either over there or over here? Yep. 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 I can I can picture it too. That will make some for really nice pictures. It honestly would, but this is really nice, guys. I like this space. Hopefully on the next cruise, we'll be able to experience Census Spa just a little bit because, you know, those hot tubs look real nice and just relaxing area. But I don't know how I feel about people just being up here and just being able to look at you while you're trying to relax. You know what I mean? That's a little weird. Do you feel the same way? It's a little odd. And like, this area is open right here. And these are people's staterooms. I mean, I assume they're people's staterooms. <laughs> like, just imagine waking up one morning, as Coda said, and you just have someone just staring. Like a lost child. <laughs> you got games on your phone? <laughs> the ship is very, very bizarre. That's all I gotta say. Also, what's stopping me from climbing this ladder right here? I was thinking that. I was like, is that a sign saying not to? <laughs> what's stopping me from climbing this ladder? There isn't. It should be a retractable ladder, to be completely honest, if they wanted to deter people. But even then, that's a very, it's not too steep of an incline. I'm sure people could climb that if they really wanted to. Bye, Castaway Key. We will literally see you in a couple of days. <laughs> see you in a few days. It's very weird to just watch the ship turn compared to the land. It's very different. One thing that I also just noticed is that this area up here is not accessible by a wheelchair. You have to climb stairs in order to get to the very front of the ship. So, just something to bear in mind. Do you guys see these random patches all over the ground? I wonder what that's all about. So, um, you want to drink a water? Come on, just stand right here. <laughs> just, yeah, just stand right there. <laughs> Alright, time for our final dinner of this particular cruise. Let's head on inside Arendelle. Aww. How cute is this? This is a really long hallway to get to the restaurant. Holy cow. This is a massive hallway. But, I will say, it is very well themed. It does feel like you're inside the castle. I forget his name. I love how the windows are all frosted over too. 
different designs. <laughs> Hang in there, Joan. This is really cool. I like these. So, babe, are you satisfied with where we're sitting? I don't think we could get much better than this. Look at, look at this. The stage is right here. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have a front row seat to all the action and I am excited. So, uh, any of you Kingdom Hearts fans out there recognize those hearts? What in the world? Yo, that's awesome. I'm sure that was 100% not intentional, but that's still fun to see. We have just received our menu for Arendelle. I really like these menus. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the menu for Arendelle. The royal family hereby welcomes you to an enchanted evening. For our appetizers, it's listed as a smorgasbord. We have Anna's um, something. We have blushing oakens, chilled white and green asparagus. We have Elsa's royal baked scallops. That is coming directly from the Alaska sailings from the frozen night over there. That is directly from that. A Jarlsberg cheese and rosemary ham tart. For salads, we have the Nordic cucumber and potato and carrot salad. We also have a Troll Valley baby field greens. From the kettle, we have Sven's favorite carrot soup and a split yellow pea soup. Here is our bread service, a six grain Viking loaf with roasted onion dip. For our entrees, we have a King Agnar's dry rubbed roasted pork tenderloin. We have a pan seared Chilean sea bass, an Arendelle um, something, and a juniper spice roasted chicken breast followed by a garlic and thyme roasted beef ribeye. For our vegetarian options, we have Queen Iduna's potato something and um, Kaldolmar, don't know what that is either. And here are the lighter note offerings in case you guys are curious. <laughs> Am I hearing a boo boo out there? Boo boo! Oh, easy! Again, please! Boo boo! I am Oogie! And I'm pleased to be welcoming my little Amazon to celebrate the engagement of our worthy and wonderful Queen Anna of Arendale! And her undeniably ordinary mountain man Christopher. <laughs> No, Thank you. <laughs> that is the coolest thing. Our first appetizer has arrived, and yeah, this is 100% off the Alaska Frozen Night menu. I had this not even three weeks ago. <laughs> it was pretty tasty, can't wait to have it again. So for an appetizer, Coda got the Jarlsberg Cheese and Rosemary Ham Tart with Gala Apple and Williams Pear Compote. And like I said earlier, this is Elsa's Royal Baked Scallops 
shrimp tarragon bisque, rainbow carrots, leeks, and a flaky pastry. And over here is Anna's cult board, I'm assuming. <laughs> Hot smoked salmon, smoked your trout, horseradish, left sea, salmon gravlax, sweet shrimp, dill, honey mustard, and Chris knocker brats. Hello. It's good to see you too. I do, yes. <laughs> We were outside getting gorgeous and tan just like him on the beach. Yeah. We were. We had a lot of fun today. Thank you so much for having us. Okay, well, such a good job playing. Everything is amazing. It's incredible in here, so thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying. <laughs> thank you very much. You as well. So the Knicker Necker board was really, really good with all the salmon. So good. If you're a salmon lover, you'll love this. And the scallops, 10 out of 10, as always, really, really good. I mean, come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> it's pretty, that's most definitely it. Do you want to feel the snowman or run or flex around the hall? <laughs> Do you need some help? Do you really want the help? <laughs> How about you sleep and I'll eat your dinner? Okay. <laughs> Do you want to hear a joke? Sure. Yeah? Open's joking. Here we go. <laughs> I used to hate facial hair, but then it grew on me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, all done. Bye bye. <laughs> Boy. Oh, you stop there. Oh, <laughs> Is everyone enjoying the party? Yeah. That's great. I didn't realize we had so many great singers visiting tonight. Uh,
right, so in the middle of all that awesomeness, our entrees arrived. I have the garlic and thyme roasted beef ribeye, which to be honest, it looks like a prime rib to me. Hiding behind there is some, is some broccoli and some, and some um, potatoes, and it's got some Cabernet juice. And over here, we have the pan seared sea bass with white asparagus, basit leeks, savory spinach, romanesco, peas, something, rainbow carrots, seared scallops, pea tendrils, and um, miad vinaigrettes. Take a look at the dessert menu for Arendelle. That's awesome. Here's a closer look at the dessert menu. We have an apple cake, which is also an apple cake. We have a Norwegian pancake roulade, and um, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. We have the signature dessert, which is Trolls Family Rock Chocolate Bar. Our no sugar added is a citrus almond cake, and our ice cream sundae is Elsa's Coronation Sundae. I also like the little artwork on the bottom too. It's very cute. Our desserts have arrived, and take a look at this. This is the Norwegian Pancake Roulade. It's a pancake, lingonberry jam, um, something white chocolate cheesecake. This presentation is incredible. Oh my God. And this over here is the apple cake with caramel sauce, vanilla bean ice cream, Florentine almond crunch. And this over here is Elsa's Coronation Sundae, mint chocolate chip ice cream, marshmallows, fresh whipped cream, and snowflakes. And of course, in true Disney fashion, we end at the gift shop. <laughs> Only Disney would make it end, make a restaurant end at the gift shop, but it's still really cute. They got a bunch of Frozen merchandise over here. The atrium is buzzing tonight. Lots of people down here getting their last minute photos with characters. We had Donald down there, we have Moana up here. I'm sure we have a few more characters down there that we're not able to see from this angle. But man, final nights are always fun. This is our room right here. We did not order room service. This has been here literally all day. Like from 11 o'clock in the morning until now. No one has touched this. What in God's name? Oh my gosh. We would like to think that this is a shark or a dolphin, but... Oh my gosh, Coda says that what looks like a nurse shark. Yeah, except with the tail wow, look at that sunset over there on the bridge view. That looks that looks incredible. Let's get a couple of pictures of this. This is awesome. Okay, so, made it back to the room. Coda's over here on the bed. Um, Coda, speak loudly. What did you think of Arendelle? It was so good. I'm still so full. <laughs> the food there was fantastic. What did you think of the entertainment? That was awesome. Entertainment was awesome. I am honestly split between Arendelle and Worlds of Marvel. I don't know which one is more entertaining. The entertainment is so different in the two restaurants, though, so it makes it really hard to compare. But, I don't know. I kind of like Arendelle more. Because I like the live entertainment. Yeah. I do like the live entertainment. But it also could be because we had such a good seat. Yeah. It could very well be because we just had a really good seat. So, I mean, I don't know what it's like if you're like in the far corner of the restaurant. But, man, Arendelle was absolutely amazing. And it was such just really great entertainment too so anyways guys we are going to go ahead and end this vlog here i do have a lot of editing to do so tomorrow is back to back day so we get off the ship and then we get right back on and there is a whole new procedure for back to back cruises specifically for the wish so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and have that notification bell turned on to get notified when we upload that video because there's going to be a lot of information in that video regarding the whole process of leaving stuff in the room and having a 
transferred and the whole nine yards. You guys are going to learn a lot in that video. But with that, we are going to be ending off today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe if you are new around here and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed any bit of it today. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, evening, and I'll see you guys in the next video.